and we don't have to actually freeze. Look at it, look how thin this guy is. That's amazing. He's so happy in there. He makes it have a bassy. How's that, Henry? So not only did we totally drain him of all air, but now you're spanking him. You're... Look, he keeps getting smaller. Let's undo it and see how long it takes for him to puff back out. Let's do it. Okay. Over the course of this. Come on in, Jen, let's open some mail. Let's go on a mail trip. Let's go see some mail. Get your, I'll do this if you wanna do that. Oh my goodness, how do we? Oh, you, oh. You know what day it, whoa! It's Thursday, and Thursday means mail. I love how you thought it was gonna be like a really slow process. Yeah, I thought it was. How would... long is it gonna take for the bear to reach he's, his he's initial? Totally... He's initial form. Well, pretty much instantly, the moment you take all the suction off of him. He's he's totally back. Henry, you're back. Whoa. Henry, no worse for the wear, as they say. I don't know, where are you going this, with this guy? Right there. All right. All right, Jen, what do we have today? What is this? This Th is our special opener, yeah, our special tool. So we got those guys. Open these, you wanna the open them? Dear Rat and Lake, recently um, we took a shopping trip to the Strip District in Prince Pittsburgh. To the Strip District? Strip <laughs> District in well, Pittsburgh. I should be going there. And thought it would be a good idea to grab an assortment of, quote, unusual snacks. We hope you enjoy the snacks included in this package. Keep doing what you're doing, enjoy. From Becky, Alex, Jamie, and Mikey. P.S. The candies in the vacuum pack. Oh gosh. Mm. Grab a bean or curd. What? Or skewered bean curds. Well, this, guys, this Ooh, go, it's gonna be smells. nice. It's gonna be good. Mm, this is good, 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 good. Here we go. Ugh. Mm. Oh, spicy. Wow. That's good. It's like meat. Yeah, but it's not. It is spicy. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, gracious, it's spicy. Bean That's curd, spicy welcome to my world. Whoa. Where have you been, so bean curd? Mine is really spicy, and it, it was like right next to yours. Why did I wait until this point in my life to be introduced to this? I gotta get my vacuum sealed coffee out of here. Uh, let's <laughs> make sure that we don't yep. spill that. It's spicy though. I would eat a lot more, but I'm mine, a little worried about my I system. I have no spice in mine. Like, not eat, a eat some more of it. No. Yours is not spicy? No. She said no. You're, you, you have the right to say no. You don't like it? I just, I don't know. It tastes like oil on. the best. There's a lot of oil on it. That's meat. It's not meat. Try mine. Mine's not spicy at all. It was right next to his. I literally, unless my mouth is crazy. Uh, you're, you're, driven. Well. you're driven. You're driven. You're driven. Mm. I've, got, I've got some. Um, that's some good. That's a winner right there. Bean curd on a stick, guys. Some more stuff. Yeah, I'm a fan of bean curd. I think this is what the pit in North Carolina uses for their like fake barbecue. Really? It has this consistency. This we should just get bean curd. A whole wall of it. Just a whole wall of bean curd is what we need. Hmm. This can be the other thing that we eat from them. I'm really into no bean curd. Thank you for are. sending us. What are these star, on them. star cups with emojis? This is cool. They're called star cups. I just gave you one. I know. I'm, wow. Oh wow! It's just, it's got a star in there. It'll make you a star when you eat it. Is that the preferred method? What you just did? You know, it came with little spoons. Oh! <laughs> it came with baby spoons. I don't think you're supposed to eat it the way you just, you just ate it. No. Say that in I didn't, a very weird way. I was just, I thought it would all come out. I didn't know about the little spoons. I got, I'm gonna eat the dead man one. Is this also bean curd? Look at these spoons, guys. They're so cute. They're, they're oh. cute little spoons. Oh, Barbie spoons. Can I have one? Wow, that's the smallest sure, spoon yeah. I've ever held in my hand. Wow, it's a lot easier than just trying to shove your face down <laughs> in this thing. Oh, wow. I'm a star with a little spoon. Those peanuts? No, it's some, How do you do this? some form of. It's like It's like a my wafer head. cookie. <laughs> mm. Wow! Oh man, it mm. gets good as you keep going too. 
I feel like those uh, those mm. the the hamsters that eat the baby burritos. Or yeah, whatever. we're like um, I feel like we're like in a survival situation. We're like, <laughs> oh, we gotta eat these little things. And these. It's like so frustrating. It's like we've just become giants. <laughs> oh my goodness, this food is I'm insatiable. We landed on the wrong planet. <laughs> Their Planet. spoons are so small. <laughs> Their spoons are so small. <laughs> Their spoons are so small. That's my voice on this planet. <laughs> I hate holding their spoon. Their spoon is so small. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best voice you've ever done, man. <laughs> their spoons are so well, small. Well, it's, ca- it's been caught on tape, as they say. So uh, next time. I remember one time, you remember the clucking chicken on SNL? Yeah, back in the day. I woke up one morning in like the 90s. I'm the clock and chicken. And I could do a, wow, it's good. I could hey, do a, I'm the clock and chicken. I was in my room by myself doing the clock and chicken to myself. <laughs> and I called and Link. going through puberty. I called Link and said, I just, I'm doing the clucking chicken <laughs> so well right now. <laughs> and I called Link and did it for him. And he's like, that's really good. And then I was never able to do it. I, in fact, I won't even try now. Hi, I'm the clock and chicken. That was kind of what it's like. You lost it. That was right. It's always I'm great the clock when you first start. This is delicious. So, um, I don't remember anything about the clucking chicken. <clears throat> uh, what about the book down there? Oh yeah. What the point of the clucking chicken was? Do you remember? Look at this, guys. Rhett and Link, the junior novelization. What? Oh. I'm eating something else, guys. I don't know about y'all. But... Here. Ginger cane. Crack that open. Hi, Rhett and Link, Action Fun Squadron. My son and I love your show. He's only five months old, but he already has exquisite taste. Wow. I'm a cartoonist and I had a couple, I had a coupon for a free hardcover photo book. I use it to print a one of a kind, good mythical children's book for your fan fun friendship. Ah, cool. I hope you enjoy okay. and read it on the show. Cheers, Ray. Ray Friesen, or Friesen, Don't Eat Any Bugs production. Hmm. Well, we've already eaten the bugs, Ray. I'm sure you know that, but I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Rhett and Link were the very best of friends. Mm. Can you, can we get Jen to read this to us like oh. it's our bedtime? As long as you don't and, and you have to hold put this your head where, on my shoulder. They, where they can see it, they can see the pictures and we can see the pictures. Okay. Okay, is there a start? And you're reading it to them too. So. Rhett and Link, the junior novelization. Hmm. Rhett and Link were the very best of friends. Mm. Seriously. They've won best place at the International Friendship Competition three years in a row. Sherlock and Watson are up there. Second place. They got second place. Sherlock and Watson. That that gives you any idea of how good of friends we are. They loved to do various things together. They ate mysterious foods and tried not to barf. They composed rap ballads and had strange competitions. I was like you ate part of my guitar. <laughs> no. and I'm trying not to barf while being a member of the mystery crew of Scooby-Doo. They thought about waffles and rode miniature horses, but only on certain days of the week. Oh, wow. That's right. Mm. That's a big miniature horse. Mm, we could have had two miniature horses, but no. Right. We ride together. That's not a problem. Not Wheel a problem of waffacality is what that says. Oh. One day, Rhett and Link were in the forest. They were hunting for... Mythical beasts to add to the mythical zoo they were building in Rhett's backyard. Yeah, that is a plan. Why is it in Rhett's backyard? Well, I got a bigger backyard. You do. Link's backyard didn't have enough room for a zoo because it was already full of the hovering monster truck they were constructing out of Legos. Oh, oh look at that. Yeah, we, we, that's in our future. <laughs> we're going to have hovercraft monster trucks. These were the sort of beasts they were after, but any beast would do. Humming dragon, jackalope corn, and buffalo owl. Buffalo owl. Buffalo owl. <laughs> it's an owl and a buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly they es- espied? Espied? Yeah, it's an They're American espied. word. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> a magical talking pine cone. Wow. Plant me on a sunny mountaintop and I will grant you three wishes, said the pine cone in his weird talking pine cone voice. Plant me on a sunny mountaintop. And I will grant you three wishes. Said the pine cone. <laughs> Said the pine cone. <laughs> that was a narrator voice. Said the pine cone. 
I wish to be even. I wish to be even. This is you. Oh, (laughs) this is you yourself. (laughs) Okay, I'm only. I'm just the pine cone. Okay, I'm only the pine cone. You want to read for Rhett? No. No. Okay. I hate that. I wish to be even taller, the tallest person in the world. I hate that. (laughs) I hate reading for Rhett. (laughs) You wish to be the tallest person in the world. I wish for killer basketball skills so I could beat everyone at basketball. Already got him. And I wish for all the bacon in the world. Said Rhett. Good wishes. Three. Look at your legs. <laughs> Very spindly. You got taller in the you legs. You don't have knees. You're like Gumby. I kept the t- the tor- You don't want to get the torso stretched because then your organs go crazy. Right. Yeah. A lot of digestion going on in there. He knew that. I wish for my own spaceship full of laser princesses. Ooh. A pet dinosaur named Kevin. Hold on. Why does he get laser princesses? All the bacon in the world, demanded Link. But it says Steve on it. Oh no. Well, I think that's a joke. Maybe. Bacon times two. Well, lots of words on this page, Jen. Brace yourself. The pine cone looked embarrassed. I meant three wishes to split between the pair of you, not three wishes each. Well, that wouldn't be fair, because then I would get two wishes, and Link would only get one wish, said Rhett. Mm -hmm. What? No. We'd each get one and a half wishes, explained Link. Equitable. Mm -hmm. Okay. How can you have half a wish? We have to both wish for the same thing, and I'm not changing any of my wishes, complained Rhett. Conflict. Hmm. I'll change your face, shouted Whoa. Link. Escalated Oof. conflict. I was thinking. Your teeth. Your teeth are really coming strong. <laughs> the two friends argued and argued, the sort of grudge shouting you can only achieve when you've known a person for your entire life or longer. Wow, this is deep. Insightful. True to life. The pine cone used this distraction to steal both of their wallets. Mm-hmm. And then fly back to the secret pine cone lair. <laughs> money they, sacks. I had a money sack in my. <laughs> that was your wallet. Yeah. <laughs> I carry my money in a money sack. <laughs> when they saw the pine cone fly away, the two best friends had a jolly good laugh because, of course, their wallets didn't have any money in them. True. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I wouldn't be saying that. I wouldn't be laughing about they that. They kept all their money in their mis- mythical shoes. Their wallets were only used to hold business cards, leftover fortune cookie fortunes, and other boring stuff. Truth. Like, we're like feet to feet. <laughs> That's how we sit all the time. Just laughing. The, the end. end! Oh, yeah, you can be that. The big. end! It's huge. <laughs> and they all live mythically ever after. Oh. Wow. Thanks oh, for- see, that's what it landed on, see? Hold on, go back. Oh, so look. they spent the wheel, spent it, and then it landed on, and they lived Mystically. instead of coink or noses that instead of toes. Smart. And then at the end, he's got he's got your uh, he's got your license from uh, epilogue from some song to, that we made. What seems to be the problem, officer? Oh, you have to say that. It's a pine cone talking. What seems to be the problem, officer? <laughs> there it is. And who is that by? That was an amazing trip. Uh. His name is, it's in the first page. It's Friesen? Friesen? It's on the first page. Yeah, I read it out, but it's. It's right there. One more page. I'm really (laughs) having a hard time turning this page. Ray Friesen. Ray Friesen. Ray Friesen. Friesen.com. Oh, Ray Friesen. Thanks, Ray and uh, Friesen. Oh, look at the back. See, the back is written in reversal. Reversal? That's just Wow, Wow, it's a mirror image. Wow. The heartwarming story of two friends just friendshipping it up. If your heart increases temperature by four or more degrees, seek medical assistance retroactively. That's a good idea. And illustrated for no particular reason by Ray Fryson. Thanks All for right. that, Ray. And that's thanks for cool. reading that, Jen. No, you're welcome. All right. Well, that's a nice way to, to end this. Mm-hmm.